Hey, what's good everyone? My name is John Mango, represent Beyond the Iron. We're looking to take your fitness and your nutrition further so you may change your life forever. Welcome to the video. I'm gonna be discussing my entire pull workout that I'm currently doing. And I'm gonna be coming out with a video explaining my exact split and where exactly this workout fits in on that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take you through some footage of me actually executing the workout while I do a voiceover explaining all the tips, tricks, strategies, how to build your back and basically your shoulders and biceps as well, the best way possible and everything else you need to know about it. So again, welcome to the video, let's get started. What's good everyone? It is your boy John Mango. I hope you're all doing well and let's go ahead and jump off this pull workout right off the bat. As you'll see, I'm showing you the warm-ups that I like to do. Uh, these warm-ups are key. A lot of you guys jumping in uh, into your workouts without warming up the rotator cuffs. Not a good idea. Even though it's a pull workout, you know, people will definitely warm up, well, I hope, on your push workouts, but you definitely want to do this on every and any upper body workout, even arms, all right? You wanna save those shoulders, make sure they're not deteriorating from the inside out. So that being said, I hit these face pull variations and then I also hit these curls. The reason for the curls is to kind of get my elbows warmed up because I notice if I jump right into the first exercise you're gonna see here, my elbows start to really bother me at first. Uh, they usually warm up into it, but I wanna make sure that they're warm up before I hit the uh, heavy first exercise, which we're jumping into now. This is going to be weighted chin-ups. Now this is a quick warm-up set. I want to explain about the chin-ups, okay? So I always, I've always i been starting my back workouts with this for over a year now. And a quick reminder to track your workouts. This is what the workout for today is looking like. So if you want to pause the screen, boom. Got it all tracked out. If you want a video on how to do that, just go ahead and click up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. So again, I start weighted chin-ups off just because they are the king. I'm talking the king of back movements, okay? Now, obviously you gotta work up to doing them weighted, but uh, you definitely wanna make sure that you're progressing. This compound alone, you're gonna make, you know, 80, I'd say 80% of your back gains from this one alone. Now here I'm doing higher reps, okay? We're looking at like eight to 10 reps, and this is extremely hard. This is a lot of volume over five sets, but again, this is the bread and butter. So guys, you don't have to choose this one for your bread and butter, but choose an exercise that's a massive compound like this and focus on it first and make sure that that is what you're putting all your energy towards. Everything else going forward is really just adding on. So I did a vertical pull. Now I like a horizontal pull. I prefer this chest supported T-bar row, usually because I hit a leg day before the pull day and my lower back is a little bit fatigued. So I'm not gonna do free weight uh, T-bar rows instead. But like I said, if you want to start with those, that's a great option also. Here, uh, just focus on the control. I want you guys to know uh, something on this exercise and most of the exercises I always execute with very controlled negative right there. You see that? Guys, pull with the elbows, guys and girls. Pull with the elbows, squeeze at the top and lower nice and slow. You're gonna do the most muscle damage from the eccentric, meaning the lowering part of the exercise. Now, one thing to keep in mind on this next exercise MAG grip, by the way, if you look at the bar I'm using, it's a new grip bar called MAG Maximum Advantage Grip. It is sick, as you can see my hand positioning, but I want you to know, as the set is going on, you see how I'm starting to move a little faster? I'm starting to swing a little bit. I've noticed after watching this footage right now that I need to fix that. So you'll see it here from another angle. I could definitely improve my form on this, in which case I'll drop the weight and go more control. Because if you look here, as I start getting fatigued, I'm turning a vertical pull almost into a diagonal horizontal pull here. See that? It's looking more like a row than it is a pull down. So guys, make sure you're always, you know, keeping track of your form and, and reevaluating yourself. That's why taking videos of yourself is more than just egotistical, although, I mean, <laughs> who, who doesn't wanna, you know, flex for the gram. Next up, these cable rows. I definitely fixed the form up again here. Nice control than this one. You'll notice it's a bodybuilding workout, right? So we go with high reps. Most sets are straight sets, meaning hardly any supersets. And the reason for that for me is because my back grows very well if I just focus on straight sets and just progression through those sets. Um, so, you know, this could, may not work for you, it may not, but uh, I definitely recommend 
you know, focusing all your energy on each set, okay? Now, supersets sometimes might detract from that, although antagonist sets, I do recommend, if you've seen my video on it, if you haven't, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards or in the description for you. These pullovers are more so in isolation. Here's another angle for you. Very self-explanatory stuff. This is just to finish off the back completely. I always throw these in at the end. Uh, a lot of people like to pre-exhaust with them. I like to finish off with them, okay? I wanna save all my energy for that main compound and I do recommend that you do the same. Uh, if you know how I increased inches on my shoulders, it's by adding in these following exercises for the shoulders um, after every pull and push day and on a shoulder day or if you're doing push pull legs, just add this in after every pull and push so you're doing it four times a week and use the cable behind the back. It's gonna maximize tension at all times and you wanna superset this immediately. Okay, somewhat of an antagonist, but obviously these are all pull exercises. So this definitely goes well at the end of your pull workouts, especially if you're not focusing directly on a shoulder day, which again, I don't think is necessary. So face pulls, amazing for shoulder health and building the rear delts. I'm telling you, this is a game changer if you want to fill out your shoulders and really get some detail in the upper back and the trap area. So that's why I definitely uh, recommend doing these with high frequency throughout your uh, split. And to finish off, you got curls for the girls. And you'll see here, very controlled. I twist my arms out, there you go. You wanna keep it supinated the whole time. Pretend there's a hinge at your elbow. Well, it is a hinge joint. And you're just trying to flex at the elbow. No swinging, nice and controlled, eccentric, nice and slow. Guys, this is my pull workout. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Any questions or comments, let me know down below and I'll be sure to answer them. But that is my pull workout explained. That is why I do what I do. And this workout has allowed me to make some serious gains. So I definitely recommend you try it out and let me know how it goes. Cheers, everyone. All right, everyone, that's it for the workout. Thanks for watching. Feeling super strong today. The bulk has begun. Just wait for, I'm gonna come up with a video on exactly what my goals are exactly how I'm gonna get there, the plan, the strategy, everything. If you haven't watched my reverse dieting video, that's what I'm currently doing. Just go ahead and click right there. I'm almost stabilized, almost in a consistent caloric surplus, so some serious content to come, guys. A lot of muscle gain, but I'm gonna stick with the fat loss, the meal plans, the nutrition, all that stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the back workout video. If you guys want more videos like this one where I'm explaining specific workouts, tips, tricks, strategies, all that stuff, please let me know, and I'll be sure to make it for you, all right? Three times a week now. Let's get it if you haven't yet. Share with your friends, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you guys in that next video. I'm out.